hello and welcome to your fourth and fifth grade science class. We are still discussing earth science. Today, our focus is what is weather? Our learning target for today, we're gonna focus on winds and clouds in the atmosphere interact with the landforms to determine patterns of weather. But what is weather? You probably know that a thermometer can be used to measure air temperature, but it takes more than a temperature reading to describe the weather. Weather is the state of the atmosphere, including its temperature, wind speed and direction, air pressure, moisture, amount of rain or snow, and other factors. Scientists called meteorologists study and predict weather. Meteorologists collect data from many tools to tell about the weather today and use computer models to predict future weather. Almost all of the data they use are collected automatically at weather observation stations or through weather balloons that transmit data to the ground. Knowing and predicting the weather is very important for planning all sorts of activities, including farming, fishing, and outdoor concerts. Temperature. Air temperature also affects weather. As the sun warms Earth's surface, air that is in contact with the surface becomes warmer. As the air particles move farther apart, the air becomes lighter. The warm air rises, causing an area of low pressure to form, and air from areas with high pressure rushes in. If the air near Earth's surface cools, the particles in the air becomes more closely packed. This denser, cooler air pushes down with more pressure. An area of high pressure forms. Air from this area flows into lower pressure areas. Let's review Earth spheres interactions. So we have the geosphere, the biosphere, the atmosphere, and the hydrosphere. Hmm, which sphere are we discussing today? You're absolutely right if you said the atmosphere. Winds. Wind is air movement caused by differences in pressure. In general, air moves from areas of high pressure to areas of low pressure. Think about a balloon. When you let air out of a balloon, Air rushes from inside the balloon where pressure is higher to where pressure is lower outside the balloon. You can feel the wind. Wind speed and direction affect weather. Local weather can be affected by special winds called jet streams. A jet stream is a narrow band of high speed wind. A polar jet stream blows from west to east high in the atmosphere over North America. The jet stream affects day-to-day -day weather and seasons. In the winter, the jet stream can bring cold air from the north to states as far south as Kentucky. In the summer, the jet stream brings warmer air north into Canada. The name of a wind is the direction from which it blows. A north wind comes from the north and moves towards the south. Winds near the ocean are sometimes named differently. Water in the atmosphere. Three other factors for determining weather are humidity, clouds, and precipitation. Humidity is the amount of water vapor in the air. The particles of water vapor are too small to be visible, but when conditions are right, they can come together to form small water droplets and ice crystals. 
These droplets and crystals are bigger than water vapor particles and can reflect light from the sun. At this point, we can see the water as a cloud. If the droplets or crystals get large enough, they can fall to the ground as precipitation, such as rain or snow. Whether a cloud is made of water droplets or ice crystals depends partly on air temperature. The temperature of air high in the clouds is often much lower than the temperature of the air close to the ground. That means it's colder as you get higher in the air and warmer as you get closer to the ground. Even on summer days, many clouds are made of ice crystals. Weather maps and charts. Meteorologists record measurements, daily conditions, and information from radar and satellites using maps and charts. Then they analyze the data. They use computer models to predict what the weather will be. A weather map uses symbols to show fronts and weather conditions. It shows how fronts are moving. Some fronts are stationary or not moving. A key on the map explains the symbols. Curving lines connect places with the same air pressure. The letters H and L show high and low pressure. So let's review what we learned about weather. A meteorologist is a scientist that studies the weather. Meteorologists use tools to measure weather conditions like temperature, air pressure, and wind. Air temperature is measured with a thermometer, a thin glass tube with a bulb at one end that has liquid inside it. As the liquid heats up, it rises up the tube. The numbers on a thermometer represent degrees, the way we measure the temperature. Degrees can be measured using the Celsius scale or the Fahrenheit scale. A barometer is a tool that is used to measure air pressure. When the air pressure is high, it is dry and clear outside. When the air pressure is low, it is often damp and cloudy outside. An anemometer is used to measure the speed of the wind. Most anemometers have three or four cups and the faster the cups spin, the higher the wind speed. A wind vane points in the direction the wind is blowing. A weather forecast is a prediction of what the weather will be like for the next few days. Meteorologists measure temperature, precipitation, air pressure, and wind. They also look at high or low pressure areas and fronts, which are large air masses with the same conditions. Meteorologists record all of this information on a weather map. Got it? Sure you do. And you made it to the end of this lesson. Have a great day.